So we have a couple of options with, with our snowmobile trips. The, we do either half day, full day, or overnight trips here in Iqaluit. And a half day trip is uh, it's always catered to the skill level of the rider. So if we have experienced riders such as having snowmobile TV here, we can always go further, farther, faster. Just means you see more. But in general, our trips are out over the sea ice here on Frobisher Bay. So you get a little bit of rough ice uh, just getting out onto the, the open ocean. It's a weird sensation in itself. It, it's very much the wilderness. Uh, we have no gas stations once we leave town. There's no cell service outside of town. Everything we do is on sat phone. We bring all our fuel with us. It's basically expeditions for, even if you're out for a half day, you prepare that you could get stuck. You bring all your uh, maintenance with you. You've got tools, spare parts. You've got everything with you. We pull comatics or traditional Inuit uh, sleds that are uh, behind the snowmobiles so that we can uh, carry all of our equipment with us so we're self-sufficient as soon as we step out of town that if we got stuck for a couple of days we'd be able to stay safe. The riding conditions are, are sort of as, as it was described to me today as raw snowmobiling. There's no trails, there's no routes, it's, it's really led by the conditions so we're really following what the land allows us to, to do and achieve in the places we can go for that day. Uh, so we, we, the experience is unique. Every trip is very different because we can only do what, what the conditions will allow and what the, the riders are, are up for. It's a physical experience that, uh, that you're, you're, you're undertaking on the machine. You're having to absorb a lot of impact. Not that it's heavy impact or things that will throw you off the machine. It's, it's fairly flat. It's just more that the machine is bouncing around and uh, things like that. So you're a little bit of throttle control, a little bit of balance. Uh, but really having to, to handle the machine throughout the day. So you, you come back from a full day of riding and uh, as you said yourself, Phil, is it spa day tomorrow? <laughs> I hope they come back for me. Guys, hello. We can be complete full service. You could, we have a sort of saying that you can go from the beach to the Arctic in a day and we'll make sure you're safe. So if you want to show up in shorts and flip-flops, we'll make sure that you've got enough clothing to be warm that we can rent out. But in terms of the trip itself, we provide all the safety equipment, guides, snacks, hot meals, uh, drinks, whatever it is while you're out. It's really a full service opportunity that you can walk off the plane. If you want to bring your own snowmobile gear, whether it's helmets or uh, coats or pants or boots, as long as they're warm enough for the weather that we're having at that time, then let's just go with it. We've got our machines here and uh, they're with our local guides that we work with that make sure that we're safe and we pick the right routes and uh, yeah we just have a lot of fun while we're out there. What do you think when you, when you meet people for the first time? Um, I, I try and ask uh, or find out where they're from first and uh, kind of ask questions about like the experience of uh, writing uh, or little experience uh, so it depends on the experience of the um, client or the person that's visiting and uh, that it could be a similar thing or a very different thing up here uh, if you're not used to riding in the tundra here. We are not a flat terrain at all. Uh, there's nothing groomed. Uh, that's where the local knowledge is so critical. Uh, you have to know where you're going. You have to know what to look for on the land as well as on the more, more specifically on the ice. It, the ice is what's the most dangerous part because you have to be able to read what you're facing. You can get snow covered water, you can get thin ice, you can, there's areas of uh, high currents that create illusions of safe ice where it's really not at all. And then over land, there, there's no mapped routes. It's not like you can go into uh, the Snowmobile Association here and pick up a nice, you know, beautiful map and just follow the trail with your GPS. You really have to know where you're going. So that's where the guides are, are our lifeline up here. Watching you guiding us out there on the uh, out on the ice, I noticed you use old technology. I've seen you moving rocks around and, and going by what are very traditional markings. More of a self-learning thing. Um, over the years, the rocks are used, uh, have been used for guiding uh, and knowing your trail. Uh, it can tell you there's a dangerous uh, area here, or fishing area, or general just a marker uh, to. Uh, take you home safely. But that's been something that's been in your family for a few hundred years. Yes, yeah, including the weather, the sun, um, the snow banks, uh, how if you had prevailing winds north and south in the last few days, you can also navigate with that too. 
Again, the weather's the boss, and uh, you always have to keep in mind where the wind's coming from. Like today, it's kind of a northwest wind, and you have to keep that in mind. If you're going with the wind on the way out, uh, it should be into the wind as you're coming into town. Like you keep those in the back of your head uh, as, uh, as the day goes. Uh, again, it comes with uh, experience. Uh, I still, I'm still learning myself, but you got to keep uh, in, in mind there's tides, you got water, um, you got uh, winds, uh, you got to stay dry. Um, you can't get too cold too fast or to the point you can't use your hands anymore. So you got to keep those in mind. At the same time, we have 35 foot tides up here that could move water every six hours pretty good so you're always thinking about the next when is a high tide when is a low tide and uh, um, yeah just uh, even new snow could be dangerous uh, powder snow under there is rocks that you can hit and <laughs> damage yourself or the machine so every little thing you've got to keep in mind uh, when you're driving up there it's not where you can take off for an hour and expect to be back uh, if you don't know the area, you could get into a lot of trouble or it could be fatal. And, uh, um, so you don't have the experience, go with somebody with experience. And then pack, if you're going to go for a day, pack for three days, that kind of mentality.